Apparently you should not really handle them because they excrete small amounts of cyanide. I like your shirt. Thank you. Sold one of my skunk geckos. Big day, big day. Speaking of selling geckos, I heard you're the gecko girl. Check out these gargoyles. Are these all yours? Yep, every one of them, including the skunks and the tokays. And I have your decaloids as well. Wow. And I have like more gargoyles. Like they're everywhere. And I have two larger sub-adult males. I don't know where my other one's at. He's hiding somewhere. So I know you were mentioning that you have a lot of geckos. Are you shipping these? I do ship. So if somebody wants one of your geckos shipped to them, who would they contact? Gecko Girl on Instagram. You can even hit up like Tropical World Pets. I run everything for them, so I'm the one that you'll be contacting. So I will link her social media down below if you guys want to grab one of her geckos. So I am going to get a gargoyle gecko. This is something that I've wanted since I first got a crested gecko, but then I just haven't. Um, and I think I'm going to go with this one because this one seems to like me the most. Like, look at his little eyes. Come home with me. Hello. Wow, fancy seeing you here. Oh my god, again. <laughs> I would have never guessed. We've had J and B terrarium. Look at all of this. Can you believe that all of this was made by not these two hands? Those these two, two hands. <laughs> <laughs> but who did the drinking of the whiskey? Um, um, other people. <laughs> I take a, uh, other legally recreational. You know what? I need to take these and like flip them over. So you're not allowed back here. You need to get only people who are vending. <laughs> you need to mess up all the. Where, where's everybody's cock and cribs? <laughs> where are they? Why aren't you shipping these right now? One week. One week. <laughs> So we are back. It's been a couple days and I did get a few pickups from the expo. Some of them were planned and a couple of them weren't. Obviously I wouldn't get anything that I didn't think I could take proper care of. So yeah, let's get started. Ah! There he is. This is Tweak. He's a Colorado River Toad. He's still kind of a baby. He'll get much bigger than this. So yeah, this isn't his enclosure. I actually made a big enclosure that he'll grow into within time. This pickup was actually planned and she has been in here for a couple days now. This is just my temporary housing until I got her enclosure all together. I ended up actually trading some old small exoterras for a larger one for her. Did a whole live plant setup. We're doing some UVB light just because I've had Rango, my crested gecko, since 2015 and I did give Rango UVB the first like year or two of his life. I don't anymore but I did and I figured I would just do the same thing for this gecko because it worked for Rango so why not? Also I put live plants in the enclosure so obviously that is going to be beneficial for the plants. But anyway, I got her from my friend Jen. So yeah, this is a little gargoyle gecko and look at those colors they look so good and I'm guessing gargoyle geckos also like change colors because Rango he like fires up and he gets really dark and he gets these really bold colors and yeah she seems like she's changed too and by the way I don't know if it's for sure a female but I'm just gonna go with she for her because Rango's a boy and I'm kind of hoping that this will be a girl I did decide to name her Sage now I did hold her at the show she is pretty handleable I mean obviously Rango is way more handleable because I've had him 
for like ever, but she'll get there. I'm so obsessed though. You wanna go in your new enclosure? Okay, hold still. No, I got it, I got an, bruh. I got an enclosure for you. Okay, we're gonna hang out close to the ground because I can't, you can't be trusted. You can't be trusted. <sighs> oh, there's Eric's feet for free. Moment of truth, do we like it? <coughs> Tulip thinks we have something for her. Guess what, you can jump. Oh, did you just open your mouth at me? <laughs> oh, wow, she looks great in here. There you go. Okay, so now for my invert pickups. These weren't exactly planned, but... So these guys right here are black and gold millipedes. Um, apparently you should not really handle them because they excrete small amounts of cyanide. Now, from all of the reading that I did, it said that it's such a small amount, it's not really dangerous to a human, but it can cause like eye irritation, skin irritation. I think that goes for like most millipedes and why people don't really handle them but yeah it's not seen as dangerous I'm still a little hesitant to handle them with my bare hands because I don't want any issues there but I mean we'll, we'll have to move them from point A to point B somehow <laughs> I figured since they excrete cyanide they need like a really cool enclosure and I've been saving this for a while if you know what this is it is another coffin crib it just makes sense now I will do another like emo music video enclosure down the line, but we've just done a couple of them and this just seems like an appropriate use of a coffin crib. Not only because they excrete cyanide and this is just like very on theme for that. It just seems like it'll be very suitable for them because of the amount of substrate that I can put in here plus the surface area. Now I am going to be using Reptisoil for this. Like it's already like fogging up. It looks like this is gonna work out quite well. So first of all, you'll notice that they're on this moss with like decaying stuff in there. I'm gonna definitely throw this in there because it seems like they're happy eating away at stuff in that, which is great. But um, we also wanna, you know, provide them with more than just that. So um, first of all, I am going to drop in some springtails just because it seems like the thing to do here. I picked up this from Tropical World Pets. It's decaying wood. These guys are going to feed on decaying wood, so this is like perfect to put in with them. Um, also, I love JMB terrariums. Just like a heads up, they also gifted me these isopods. Well, they gifted these isopods to Fiona um, at the show. I'm not gonna put them in here with it because I, I'm not really sure if they would inhabit it okay together. I don't really want them to have to compete or anything. And also, I feel like these these isopods would quickly outgrow this enclosure. I'm not really sure. I also don't know what isopods specifically would do well with this species of millipede, but if it's totally cool and like it would work out to put isopods in it and you know a species that would go well in this, like comment it down below and let me know. And I think, should I mix it in? Okay, I guess let's move these guys over along with the moss. Wow, check that out. I know a lot of people are afraid of centipedes, but like totally cool with millipedes. I'm like okay with both, but I feel like millipedes are just slow centipedes. Like I don't really see, I don't know. Oh my God. Oh, it's like on my pinky. They're not like the most poised things ever. <laughs> oh, shit. These guys are not very good at like millipeding. What do we think? Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll add like a little bit more wood in here. They're cute. I just don't know. I don't know.
This is so cool! We really need to think of some like poisonous toxic names for the two of them. So comment any ideas you have down below. I don't know if they're going to be the most interesting animal to have here because they just really eat like dead decaying organic material but you know they're really pretty so at least they're you know they're fun to look at. Anyway as for the expo yes it was great. I had a great time. I sold out of my pixie plushies. I only brought three but yeah it was really great seeing people and meeting people. I still have a couple mushroom terrariums left and I think I'm actually going to save them for another expo down the line and actually probably wholesale buy a couple jumping spiders to put in them so I can sell them like together but yeah it was it was a great time it always is thank you so much for all your support for those who came out and said hi or bought something or you know just hung out for a little and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video like it if you did subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget I'm Instagram news probably way too much is at tarantula.cat you can go follow me there as a patreon podcast and a teespring it is all linked down below I will see you guys soon let's get into the patreon pet picks